What is up my dudes, it's Pac-Man here and today I'm bringing you guys a brand new video. Uh, it's a video that a lot of you guys have been asking for. It's my settings uh, that I use for Rainbow Six Siege and in my opinion they're the best settings if you want a competitive advantage in game. Um, so my settings are all around and based around being able to see enemies as clearly as possible or see maps as clearly as possible um, as well as giving you maximum FPS. Uh, so. I want to give you a quick, few quick disclaimers. This is for PC players. I'm sure there's little bits of information that are going to be relevant to console players, but um, I play PC. It's all it's all I know about in terms of Rainbow Six Siege. So most of this content is going to be related to and for PC players. Um, secondly, I'm not an expert in you know graphics and game design and optimal performance of computers, but in the end of the day, I do know Siege like the back of my hand. And um, I know what's going to give you the most FPS, the most bang for your buck, and what's going to give you the clearest image. Um, so yeah, if, you're, if that's what you're looking for, you want that competitive advantage, be sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe, because there's tons more content coming like this, videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, but with that being said, let's, uh, let's get straight into it. Okay, so starting off with general, uh, we'll begin with squad privacy. I'll leave this on invite only. I've quite a lot of friends on Siege. I don't really want them to be able to just jump into my party whenever they feel like it. Uh, you can play on open to friends if you want. Um, it's completely up to you. Most people, open to friends is going to be perfectly fine. I play on invite only. Uh, this is a new setting anyway. Matchmaking preferences, you want to turn off hostage and secure area. Just trust me when I say don't bother playing with these ones if you want to take Siege seriously and uh, play competitively or just improve. Just play bomb and stick to just bomb. Um, it's the pro rule set. Uh, so in terms of T-Hunt, I leave Elimination and Protect Hostage on. Uh, sometimes I have this turned off. Um, it's just, all it really does is just give you access to the Defender guns. So if you just want to change it up and play with, um, yeah, any of the guns the Defenders have, you can leave it on. Uh, at the moment I'm playing with it on, but you can turn it off whenever you feel. Um, I would recommend turning off every map except House. Um, basically House is the smallest map. Um, and T-Hunt should be used for warming up your shot and training your aim. So you don't really want to bother like running around. You want to kind of get as much uh, aim training in as possible. So I'd recommend turning off everything except house. Um, interface preference. Um, I'm not sure what if this is specifically what the pros still use. I don't think it is. Um, like I don't think they have things like the grenade indicator. This is basically a balance of between uh, pro and um, yeah. I still want to have a little bit of an advantage in rank. To be completely honest with you, but um, I have my scoring off. I'm used to that now. I don't show my teammate's name, and I have my hit confirmation off. Uh, so it's still quite minimal, but I still get quite a lot. I'm not sure if anyone knows. Let me know if this is the same. Like, do, do pros still get grenade indicator? I can't really remember. You can easily just play with this normal if you want to see points and you get uh, notified when you down someone and stuff. I'm just used to playing on uh, on this now or playing without the points. Um, so yeah, basically uh, that one's up to you. Just choose whatever suits you best. Doesn't really matter. Um, I'll leave my ping on, I'll leave my game info on, uh, cycle inside camera groups off, uh, I just like it the way it was, you don't really need to know what it is if you want to try it out, it just gives you kind of faster access if there's multiple different types of cameras available to you, um, I like it the, the classic way so just off for me. Uh, drone after prep is on semi-automatic for me. Um, I don't really bring my drones into danger at the beginning of prep phase or during prep phase in general anyway. Uh, but if I ever get caught in a situation, I just want to have control. So uh, yeah, so I'm just going to leave it on semi-automatic. I'd recommend you do that too. PC chat channel, I leave it on all. Sometimes I have it on disabled if, I, if I'm sick of the world and I don't want to uh, speak to people. But um, for the most part, I'll leave it on all. And, um, and yeah, that covers off general. Okay guys, so for audio, I'm gonna really quickly go through these. Don't really matter too much. Um, so we've got English, English off, uh, mass volume at 100, music volume at two, I don't really like the music. You can leave that one on 100 if you want. Uh, dialogue volume at 100, um, dynamic range is on high five, voice chat volume on 100, mute on unfocused on, just basically means that when I alt tab out of um, Siege, I get to, it doesn't play the sound in the background, I prefer it that way. Um, voice chat record mode, I play push to talk. You can put it on open if you'd like to. Um, and then my record level and my record threshold 50 uh, just to keep me nice and smooth. So uh, yeah, that's the audio. So now we're starting to get down to the juicy stuff. We're in display. Um, so for display, I basically play on resolution 1920 by 1080, 1080p. Um, display mode, I play full screen. That's the best for, um, for frames. Um, my refresh rate is 240 hertz because I have a 240 hertz monitor. You set that according to your monitor. Um, if you have a 60 hertz monitor and you're playing PC, I would definitely, definitely consider upgrading to a, to a 140 hertz monitor, 144 hertz. 
um, yeah, you're just going to see a massive improvement. I wouldn't be playing 60 frames on PC, uh, is what it is. Um, aspect ratio, I play 16.9, which is default. I did used to play on um, 5.3, but not too long ago, I switched back to 16.9. I don't really like changing up my aspect ratio and things like that too much. Uh, I kind of like just playing with what I've got at that time. And um, yeah, so like 16.9 works for me now. Um, I, I'll probably never move off this again. This again is preference aspect ratio and like, you know, sensitivity, which I'll go into in a minute. It's very personal. You find what works best for you. I'd recommend sticking with the most common ones, 16.9, uh, 4.3, 16.10. So uh, try flicking between them, find one you like and stick with it. Um, V-Sync I have off, widescreen letterbox off, and field of view 82. Um, default here is 60. I definitely wouldn't recommend playing 60. Um, some of you guys might find it a little bit more comfortable if you come from games like, uh, like COD. Um, but at the end of the day, you do want the peripheral vision. Um, keep in mind, the higher up you go in terms of your fields of view, the smaller the targets will become, the more zoomed out and the smaller your crosshair, or your, sorry, your, um, yeah, your, like, your reflex sight, your sight on your gun will become. Um, kind of gets a little bit harder to track, but just get used to it. 82 is a nice little, um, nice little medium for me. It allows me to keep my peripheral vision strong um, while still being able to shoot pretty accurately. So yeah, 82 is what I play. Again, it's a preference. Try a few out, see which one you like, stick with it. So on to the juicy stuff, uh, the graphic settings. Um, this is going to be the most dependent on your PC. Uh, again, I have a pretty strong PC myself, so I can kind of do what I want with it and still keep my frames pretty high. But I'll try and make note um, of which ones you should have lower if you if you do have a little bit of a weaker PC. But, um, but let's just go through with what I've got. Um, so texture quality, I have that on medium. Um, texture filtering, I have that on 16x. If you have um, if you have a weaker PC, I would probably wouldn't play 16x. It'll probably cost you um, a decent amount of frames. Try going down to eight or four. I wouldn't go any lower than four personally, um, but that one's on you. LOD quality, I would definitely have this as high as you possibly can. Um, this will basically affect the way that um, like kind of you, you you view models. So you want the head to be nice and round so that you can shoot the hitbox. Um, I, that's, that's probably not exactly how it works, but I just definitely know, try to get this as high as possible um, without affecting your frames too much. Like I said, I have a pretty strong PC, so I get this, uh, I, pull, I play it on ultra. Um, shading quality low. Uh, yeah, just don't don't bother with this. It doesn't really add anything to the game. It just costs you frames, so just play it on low. Shadow quality, mediums, you don't want to go all the way down to low here. Uh, basically, if you go all the way down to low, you won't see any enemy shadows, and you know that's a disadvantage. That's not an advantage. So medium doesn't cost you too much frames. You still get to see shadows, so win-win. Uh, reflection quality low. Um, like I said uh, at the beginning of the video, this isn't uh, this isn't settings so that you get the best looking siege possible. You know, with your tank PC, uh, this is settings to give you a competitive advantage. We want frames as high as possible. I always have frames above 200 um, when I'm in game, and um, yeah, and you know my my settings keep it so that it's very clear images. I can always see enemies. I never have issues saying like, oh, I couldn't even see him. Like oh, I always see what's happening. Um, yeah, it's very good for for competitive player if you want to just be as, as good as you can things like reflection quality uh they're just eye candy all they're there to do is just you know make the game look pretty it kind of blocks vision and cost frame at the same time same thing goes for um, ambient occlusion just turn it off lens effects turn it off um, these are all just eye candy same with um, anti-aliasing just let me know if i butchered that i'm not sure how that second word's pronounced off it's just eye candy again um, none of these ones matter because yeah basically this is off um, zoom in depth of field i would definitely turn this off this is actually kind of uh, it's a it's a big disadvantage in game if you have it on so what it does is if you turn it on you basically uh, get um, like a kind of a blur motion around your um, your ADS gun uh, and it just blocks all peripheral vision and when you think about it the reason people always say don't use red dot is because it blocks too much of your peripheral vision so turning on this is just like using a massive massive red dot <laughs> uh, so let's just leave it off Okay, finally, we're moving on to controls. Um, again, this is all going to be very uh, heavily my personal settings. Um, you can copy these, feel free. Uh, you probably won't like them, but have a crack if you'd like. I, I, this is what I use. It's what I'm comfortable with. Um, you might find some some benefits some, of certain things from here, uh, but you know your sensitivity that you like to play on is going to depend on how big your, your desk is, you know, and how much mouse room you've got, and uh, really just personal preference. So yeah, I won't go into that too much more, but this is just my personal settings here.
Um, so raw input, uh, I leave that on off. Um, I just don't really like it. I feel like it kind of lags out my mouse a little bit. I might be wrong there, but I didn't like it when I had it on, so I just leave it off. Uh, mouse look conversion disabled. Um, my horizontal and vertical, I like to keep them the same uh, as my up, my up kind of um, uh, sensitivity and my side sensitivity. I like them to be the exact same thing. 7.7, um, seven. my ADS uh, sensitivity is 35. I play with a 400 dpi mouse so obviously if you play 1200 dpi and you put these settings in you're still not going to you're not going to be feeling the same thing i'm feeling i play low dpi or relatively low dpi on my mouse and uh still relatively low uh, I, I like low sensitivity and i like using my arm as much as possible um mouse scroll enabled um i'm a i'm a bad person i know but i use the mouse scroll to get my my pistol out bad habit but it's what i do it is what it is uh gadget deployment advanced you want to put this on advanced for sure um, drone deployment, you want to put this on advanced for sure. Aim, uh, you want it on hold. You never want to like be, you know, click to toggle. Like uh, it's not CS, we're playing Siege. It's also what I'm used to, so you know, you might like it. Um, lean, so I want um, this on toggle personally. Some one of my best mates, um, who's a sick player, plays on hold. I, I know a few people that play hold. I prefer toggle. It's what I learnt on, and yeah, I, I just I've tried hold a few times, and it's disgusting for me. So uh, you know, sorry if I've just um, offended a few of you guys with some of these settings, but I like toggle. It's what I play. Sprint hold. Um, this is non-negotiable. Please do not play um, toggle sprint. Ugh. Uh, put that on hold. Crouch is toggle prone is toggle and uh where are we sorry prone is toggle um walk is hold uh, this is preference i don't mind holding it i just i want to be able to get out of my um my walk as soon as possible and not have to mess with so many things but yeah i play on um i play on hold there as well if you want i, I can go through some of these if you want i'll just kind of leave the screen open as we go through, I play pretty standard, to be completely honest with you. Um, the only thing is my, uh, basically my my melee attack is on my mouse uh, one button and my uh, secondary gadgets so my nades or my flashbangs are on mouse five. I also use three sometimes, just whatever feels comfortable at the time, mainly mouse five. Um, Keybinds, again, they're not gonna give you any competitive advantage, really. It's uh, it's very much preference. I would, I'd say you can copy these if you want, but again just find your own uh, keybinds that kind of suit your hand size and just what feels comfortable it's not going to give you a uh, you know like a, a competitive advantage either way as far as I know anyway so just find what's comfortable and, and use them we're not going to go into controller options because yeah don't use controller so there you have it my dudes those are my personal setting for rainbow six siege and uh, in my opinion they're the best settings and uh, that's the kind of general consensus in the competitive community uh, but be sure to let me know if you think i've got something um something wrong in there if you think i can get more frames or if you think i can get a clearer image be sure to be sure to leave a comment down below inform me um i will also be leaving links in the description to some of the forums that i used to get these settings um back in the day uh so if you want more a more in-depth look at the different settings and what they do specifically check down below and you can find that um there's going to be videos every monday wednesday and friday tutorial videos coming out i really hope you guys are all keeping safe and doing well in these uh in these crazy times uh, and be sure to let me know if you need anything um, but with that being said guys i hope you have a really good day and i will see you on the next one peace